Today we're going to look at how to set up a sweet and simple piano vocal session for your musical theater demo in Logic Pro. Nothing flashy, this is going to be quick and dirty. Hello! Welcome back to Music Theater Sound Lab, where we talk about all facets of writing and producing great theater music like a music producer. I'm Joanna Burns. I'm a composer, singer-songwriter, and sometime actor, full-time lover of Yacht Rock, Mango Sorbet, and Stevie Wonder. Today we're going to look at how to set up a sweet and simple piano vocal session for your musical theater demo in Logic Pro. Nothing flashy. This is going to be quick and dirty. I just want to share a nice, basic little workflow to get you going. And for those of you who are into using shortcuts to speed up this workflow even more, stick around till the end to learn how to get my free piano vocal template. Now let's dive into Logic Pro. All right, so for a moment, we're going to pretend that this is your first time using Logic Pro, and perhaps it is. If so, welcome. Good for you. Let's do it. So first, I'm going to go up to File and New. So before I do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and save this thing. Command S. The song I'm going to work on today is called She's a Very Good Horse, which I will explain later. But for the moment, let's just call it for short, Very Good Horse. And I'm going to save it in a place that makes sense to me. Logic Sessions, Music Theater Sound Lab. I have two options here. I can save it either as a package or as a folder. Logic gives us these two choices. As a package, this saves everything as a conglomerate. It'll attach all of my audio files, anything I do, into one package. This would be great for sharing the session with other people that are also going to work on it. But today I'm going to choose folder because this is going to be saved on my computer. It's going to break everything down nice and organized for me. So I'd rather have that. Save. Now Logic has defaulted with this classic electric piano sound, but I don't think I want that today. You can see here this on the left is my library of sounds that is native to Logic. If I were to hit this little file folder, the word library comes up. The letter Y is another way to open that. And let's go to some piano sounds. I tend to like the Steinway. What does that sound like? Okay. Or the Yamaha. I think maybe today I will choose Yamaha and I'll hit Y again to close that back up. Now I want to create an audio track which will be my vocal. Plus, again Logic has these different types of tracks. Software instrument will be any sort of software sound. Audio will be anything that is recorded with a microphone. So let me say one audio track please, create. And just for organization's sake, I'm going to label this voice. Now, if I want to click to play too, once I go to record my piano part, I can toggle that on and off up here. One, two, three, four is a count in. If I just want it to begin with a click to start me off, I can hit that and then it clicks just for the beginning and then it'll cut me loose. Let me click that off for now. I don't need that. Now, if I want control over the volume of my click, one thing I can do is go to my mix window. I'm going to hit command equal. That's my key command for mix window. And I don't see the click anywhere here. I see some other sort of hidden tracks that were there in the background, but I don't see the click. If I want to see the click, I go up to the top and click all and oh, there she is. If I control click or right click on this track, I can create track. And then I'm going to hit command W to go back to my arrange window. And now I see my click track. Incredible. I like to bring this to the top. It helps me feel more organized because I always keep it in the same place. Let me go one step further and actually color code these things. If I click the track and control click, I can go down to assign track color. And I guess I'll choose this kind of reddish color for my piano, arbitrary choice. And then my voice, sure, my voice can be blue. So now that I have these features set up the way that I like, I want to save my work, but I don't want to save the entire session just yet. I actually want to save the settings of the session. So to do that, I'm going to create a template. I can go up to File, Save as Template, and it looks like I already have a piano vocal. I don't want to call this Very Good Horse because that's the name of my song. I want to call it Piano Vocal. Save. And I already had something called that, so I'll just replace it. Great, now I have a color-coded session with both piano, vocal, a visible click that I can control, and I'm ready to go for next time I want to do something like this. Let's say I want to add a feature to a pre-existing template. I can just follow the same process. Let's say I want to add my master track to my arrange window. Create track like I did before, there it is, and go back to file, save as template. It was called piano vocal, and I can hit save and it will replace by adding whatever I just added. 
Great, now my latest feature has been included in my favorite template. This is really handy, especially if you're working on a show. You can save things like character names, instrumentation that you know you'll be using, anything that is native to your show can show up in every single session that you start for that show. I actually have one for my show Flophouse, super handy. Now that I have this whole thing set up, just for giggles, I'm gonna go ahead and record a snippet of a song that I co-wrote with another collaborator, the delightfully insane and completely brilliant Lisa Mangello for a project that we're working on called We Are the Benjamin Harrison High School Horse Girls, exclamation point. First I'll do the piano. First I'll lower my tempo. I know that this song is 100 BPM. I'm just pulling down on that. I'll leave the click in to help me out. Click my piano track and arm the track. And here I go. If you're curious, it's a musical comedy set in the suburban Indiana of 1993, where a teenage recluse must reckon with her horse girl past in order to help a trio of horse girls meet a real horse. And this thing is basically Napoleon Dynamite meets the craft. This is the I Want song for our protagonist, Joylette Pitney. Her new friends at school have never met a real horse, but they know that Joylette has. So they ask her to describe what her horse was like back home. Now we'll record our vocal. So I need to now disarm my piano track, Click on my vocal track. Maybe I'll rename this vocal track to Joylette, rather than just voice. And maybe I can change my icon. Great, a human person. Now we need to make sure that we have the input chosen that we need in order to actually record whatever we're about to record. So for this, I'm using a Motu M2. That's my interface. And so mine is plugged into input one. So I'm gonna make sure, oh, I can see it right there in this channel strip input one. So it's already there and I can see my level coming through. I see it. So confirmed. If I had an additional mic or if I had it plugged into input two, we would choose input two. I definitely want to use a pop filter to record my vocal to get rid of my plosives. Snap this bad boy on. And I don't have proper earphones on for this. I'm just gonna take one off, but it's not that serious for today. And I don't need to click for this because there's plenty of warning since there's an intro to this song. Before I do anything else, I actually wanna choose low latency because that'll get rid of any lag that I might be experiencing between the live audio that I'm recording and the system. Here we go. She's a mare who's four years old, her coat is chestnut brown, her mane and tail are chocolate. Her eyes are black as night, and she's a pleasing height. She's a very good horse. She's a slender kind of girl with long and limber legs. Her ears enjoy my scratching. She has a narrow head. Her parents both are dead. She's a very good horse. She is suitable for racing short distances. She's also quite a jumper. She's well behaved and confident The stallions like to hump her She canters in my mind And gallops through my dreams And fills up all my notes if I could fix my gaze, I'd spend most all my days Delighting in the nays of a very good horse Her name's French Twist And she's a very good horse A young woman speaking her heart. 
So there you have it, a little breakdown of a piano vocal setup in Logic Pro. And if you'd like to download my free time-saving piano vocal template, go to musictheatersoundlab.com slash PV template. That's theater with an R-E. Anyway, I hope that any of that could be helpful to you. Please feel free to chime in with any questions or perspectives in the comments below as always. And if you're not already part of the tribe, hit that subscribe button for more insights into the intersection of musical theater, music production, and songwriting. Bye.